Hello, this is Airsoft3298, and I have an unboxing to do for y'all today. It's my first unboxing ever, you know. I got this gun off eBay for $40, you know. And so far, the gun's okay. The only thing I don't like is that it's so small, you know. And I didn't want it to be so small, and I didn't know it was going to be like this. And you'll see what I mean after I start unboxing it. Well, on the front, it just shows, like, the gun called, like, Well D94S. Shows, like, the magazine over here. And it shows, like, it shoots up the 25 meters. Like, the stock is, like, adjustable to four different ways. Like, where the battery goes and everything. And, like, how the gun works. And like, got a little bit Chinese over here if y'all want to see it. <laughs> okay, well, let's get in. <sighs> little, you know, manual. It's in ja Japanese or Chinese or something. A little bit in English. Go ahead, throw that to the side. Um, start with the small things. Let's see. Let's we'll start with this sling. This thing, not very good. Like. It would be good if, like, where it went in at was different, but just the way it is, like, this sling is just not very comfortable, you know? And, yeah, it's, like, really thin. Not really anything. Just throw that out to the side. Go buy a brand new one from, like, Airsoft Station or somewhere. Like, I I'd recommend Airsoft Station because they have, like, the cheapest stuff, and it's really good, you know? Uh, let's see get the little battery you know it's not very big it's maybe as big as my mouse you know it's kind of small so I don't know if you can read that there but it's like a night CD and then like it's what it is and stuff yeah go ahead and throw that over there and then get this dumb battery you know go ahead and get yourself a smart charger if you can afford it you know like just go ahead and throw this one away but it is pretty good for this gun it only takes two hours to charge you know and most guns it takes a little bit longer go ahead and throw that off to the side it came with one high cap magazine I already loaded it and it's got the little wheel on the bottom that you spin you know right there yeah and I thought it came with two high cap magazines but it only came with that one, and this one's a mid cap where you load them on the back, and then it's spring to where you pull the spring back and you shake it upside down. You know, it's still pretty good because it's kind of better than the high cap one. So it to me it is because this high cap one is like a little bit different, kind of weird. But well, here's the gun. You know, has a little thing for the sling and all that, and then the battery goes right in here you pull this thing back pull it back and you pop this open pull it off you know put your battery in there it's a nice place it's got the stock you know pull it you know four different ways the best way to me is all the way back because the gun is so small and this barrel is kind of long you know, it's regular for an M16. And then the sights, they're pretty good. It's this little circle up here on the carrying handle looking down in between this thing. The only thing I do not like about this gun is the carrying ha handle is attached to the gun. It's part of the gun. You can't move it. And there are no rail systems anywhere on this gun. This gun, what you see and what is what you get. This gun... You're able to take the stock off, you know, for a little bit CQB action, you know. Have your little gun, get around corners easier, you know. The, the handle right here doesn't work, and neither does this one over here. I don't know if y'all can see that very well. My light in here is kind of bad. Right here, over here above the trigger, you have it to where you can... Adjust it from safety to semi to fully auto, you know, 
And what is weird about this gun is that when it's on, like, let's say I have it on fully auto, you'd think I'd be able to go and just pull the trigger, but you can't. There's a little button right here on the handle. You have to press that button, then you can pull the trigger. And then if it's on fully auto and you pull the trigger back and you let go of the button and you let go of it, it doesn't come off. You have to press the button and it'll come back. But, yeah, you know, it's kind of weird. But so far, so good. I'll get a review as soon as possible. Okay, thanks.